it's Kathleen from projectmanager.com. In this tutorial I'm going to take you through imports and exports. So the types of data that you can uh, import and export from the system, how you would export your reports and what that data will look like. So when you create a new project uh, and you want to enter your tasks, you get four options. You would have seen this in the creating a project tutorial. But the second option down is importing a task list. And you'll see here that you can import Microsoft Project files, Excel, OpenOffice, CSV and text files. So you simply click on the Choose File, browse to the file location, click OK and that will import task list for you. Another easy way to import is to go to the big round menu button on the left and drop down to Import and here it brings up a box where again I would choose file, so browse to the location of your file you can import that into the project you're in or uh, create a new project while you're importing. You can choose to import all the data or simply a task list and then either replace uh, the data that's in your project with the imported data or keep and append both sets of data. So that's of course if you were in an existing project and you can simply import and you'll see the file size, the maximum file size for import is 250 megs. So we'll hit cancel there to close that box. You would have seen also on the big round menu there's an export function. So if I click that, it gives me the ability to export all the data from my project. So I could pick a project, so I can pick that first project, select the data that I want to export. So you'll see I can export my tasks, my task notes, my task comments, timesheets, projects, my workload information, my resource list, all of my expenses, risks, issues and changes that I've created on that project as well as my discussions. And the file formats that I can export that data in are of course Microsoft Excel, Word, an XML file which is a Microsoft Project file or a CSV file. So I would just pick the data I wanted from the which project, hit export and that will export straight out. So I'll hit close there. We've also put export buttons throughout the system to make that very easy to get to. So if I go to my sample project, you can see there's an export and again the import button there on the edit uh, menu. And under each of these project areas, so if I went to my discussions tab, you see on the left hand side is the export button. The same with the risks, issues, changes and expenses. See again the export button. It's a quick and easy way to export from that area of my project. Let's have a look now at reports. So we go to the All tab and Reports and you'll see there are export buttons along the bottom but they're set as really how you want that information to be exported. So you've got the View button for all reports and that's uh, while it might not look like an export button, I'll show you what happens when I select a project and view it, how that project is then able to be exported even though I've chosen to view it on screen. So we still have that option here. I can click on the export button and export this portfolio status report. If we go back to that report, you also see I could choose to email it, I could have a PDF export format as well as Excel and Word. And you see with each of these projects, uh, reports, you have various ways to export each of these as you'll see down here the icons change as I go through. Now also under the All tab of course is the Resources tab and here again I could choose to export that data and I can go to the Workload Grid also under the All tab, I click on the Export button on the right and here I can choose to export all of my resources on all of my projects, their workload data or I can cut this down, perhaps only want one project uh, and I want to see one particular resources information. I can change the date range there and the export format from Excel or a CSV file. And to make it easy for you, when you click that export button anywhere in the system, you'll see it's defaulted to export workload data because I'm in the workload tab, but I can use the drop down menu to change that to all of the other information that I can export. So I can, from here, from the workload page, I could also export tasks or task notes if I wanted. And again, I can change that for resources and projects. 
So we've covered importing and exporting file formats and where to find all the little green export buttons. If you have any issues or problems importing or exporting files, just uh, give us a yell in the support team. We'd love to hear from you and uh, we'll help you. Thanks.